If you think Notes app on iOS, iPadOS and macOS is a very basic, just notes taking application, then trust me, you're very wrong my friend. Hands down, it is one of the best notes taking applications that I've ever used in my life and I would highly recommend each and every Apple consumer to just try it out once before they wander around here and there in search of a good notes taking application. So in this video, let's have a look at 10 features that can help you to know the Notes app in a little more detail and can help you to use it like a pro. Now the first trick is to create a new node and I obviously know that you know how to create a new node, I mean, duh. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to share a shorter method that can really help you out in some situations. So usually to create a new node, you would go inside the node application and then you would tap on this new notes icon and then you would continue taking the notes. But instead what you can do is long press on the notes icon and then you can tap on new node and you're good to go. You can just start writing the note now. Now the second trick that can help you out in some situation is to take the step a little more further. So we'll just go inside the settings application after which we will tap on control center and then we will tap on plus icons in front of notes and quick note. And now you have two new options in your control center. Remember when we long pressed on the notes app and then tapped on new note, well, you don't need to do that anymore. You could just tap on this icon and you'll be greeted by the interface where you can just continue writing your note. Or let's just say if you're in the middle of some work, you can just open the control center and tap on quick note. You get this new screen where you can add links, add photos if you want, do some sketching if you like. I mean, okay. And of course can write notes along with it. Now you might be thinking, how is this exactly helpful? You see, there are some situations that we want to keep a memory of and this exact thing can help you to do that. Now the next trick is definitely helpful for me and I'm sure if you will use notes on a day-to-day -day basis, it will be very, very, very helpful for you as well. You see, we live around in an environment where we are surrounded by a lot of accounts. Accounts as in you get social media accounts, you get bank accounts, you get Wi-Fi passwords, etc, etc. Well, you know what, just to make my life a little easier, along with saving my passwords in iCloud, I have also written down all of those passwords in my notes application as well. Why I've done that, I have absolutely zero idea, but I'm sure it will be helpful someday. I think you would be able to rate with me on that. So maybe there's passwords or any other note that you want to keep visiting again and again, and then, you know, having to go inside the notes application and then scrolling down on the list just to find that one note. Instead, what you should do is on any such note, just swipe from left to right, and tap on this pin icon. I can just open it whenever I want and I won't have to scroll down a million times just to find this one note. Now moving on to the next thing, I noticed that a lot of people don't use notes application because they say that it's too basic, you can't uh, bold a text, you can't underline the text, you can't link the text. Actually you can. Let's have a look at it. So the notes app does allows you to format your notes properly. All you have to do is just tap on this AA icon and there you have it. This has been actually improvised in iOS 16, but you can also do that in iOS 15 as well. So for example, if I want to like, you know, just select this part of the script and put it as subheading, I can do that. I can also put it in numbers if I want. I can also use a different font if I want. I mean, more space is a little nice, but but to me, it looks a little off, so I would just prefer for the default one. Look, the point that I'm trying to make is by using this formatting tool, you can pretty much basically create checklists inside the notes application, create pointers inside the notes application, and can pretty much let you do anything that a regular notes taking application would allow you to do if you would purchase its premium pack. Yet another cool thing that Notes app lets you do, but you might not be aware of that, is to let you add a photo or a video to your note. So all you have to do is while you're writing a note, just tap on this camera icon and you will get a lot of options here. You can choose a photo or video from your gallery. You can even scan for a document. You can take a photo or a video right from the camera and you can even scan for a text. And all of these functions work really, really well. So for an example, I would just select a photo and I would add it to my notes app. But by using this camera icon, I can scan for the official documents and I can even extract text from any document that is placed right in front of me. Yes, the Notes app does let you use OCR, optical character reading, right from the application. So if you're somebody who likes to keep things in an arranged manner, in a proper manner, 
you're going to love these three upcoming tips. So firstly, what you can do is just tap on the folders icon when you're inside the notes application. And as you can see, we have dedicated folders that we have created in order to better organize our workflow. If I want, I can just tap on this icon to create a new folder, after which I'm going to give it a proper name. And then if I want, I can also create it into a smart folder, which will automatically organize all the notes inside it using the tags and other filters. But at this time, I would just create a new folder. And there you have it. I now have a new folder named iPhone, as you can see, inside which I can create all the nodes that are related to this folder only. And if you're wondering whether or not I can move the older nodes to the new folder that I've created, yes, you can do that. So all you have to do is just tap on the older node that you have created already, long press on it, and then you have an option to move that particular node. After which you will be displayed all the folders that you have created, then tap on the folder that you want to move that particular note into, and you'll be good to go. But even inside a folder, if there are a lot of notes in it, it can get pretty confusing. So let's try to fix that. After opening notes application, if you're inside some notes, just go back to the iCloud menu and tap on the three dots icon. Then tap on view as gallery. And there you have it. A little more detailed view of what's inside a particular note. You get better readability of the text that's inside the note or better view of the picture that's inside the note. So I'm sure this will definitely help you. But let's just say if you have written a really long note for yourself, but you're trying to read just a specific part of it. But since I just mentioned it is too long, so you're now getting a little confused that where exactly is that particular part that you want to read. Relax, I'm here to help you out. So whenever you're inside a note, just tap on the three dots icon, tap on find a note and type in any keyword that you remember that might be in that particular part. So in this case, I'll just write uh, Instagram. And as you can see, I haven't even finished writing, but the notes application has started me showing results wherever I've written Insta inside this note. I can further use these arrow icons to navigate to the part where this text exists. And I would say it is definitely very helpful in the times when you're looking to read just a specific part and not the entire note. But what if you want to protect a particular note from anyone else seeing it? I mean, there might be some important information inside of it. I mean, one might have some saved ID and passwords. I mean, don't look at me, but okay, someone else whom I know. Samir, have you saved your ID and passwords in your notes app? No. Jokes apart, let's give your notes a little more protection. So just open the notes application and open the note that you want to protect with password. After which tap on three dots and tap on lock. And if you're setting up notes password for the first time, you will be greeted with all of these flash screen that will help you to set up the password for the very first time. But if you have already set up the password, like I have, so I'll just set up the password. And that is denoted by these lock icons that are inside this note now. If I want, I can just tap on this lock icon and this information is now locked. By the way, you can also go inside settings application, then tap on notes, tap on password, and also use your face ID to unlock a particular note. So whenever I will tap on view note, my iPhone will scan for my face and the note will be opened. So the hidden gem, that one hidden feature that is unknown to a lot of people for some reason that I'm not sure why exactly, but it is this one feature that I'm about to share. So when lockdown happened due to COVID, all of us were working from homes and it was really hard for us to, you know, collaborate on scripts. That's where notes application came into the play and made our lives a little easier. So if you're somebody who has to collaborate with their work partner on the notes application, Apple is holding your back. So all you have to do is just tap on this icon whenever you are inside the note, after which tap on which medium are you going to use to share this particular note. And while we're talking about it, just make sure that the receiver has turned on notes application inside their iCloud syncing settings. And that's it. When someone will make a change inside the note, the other person will be able to see it. And similarly, if you have shared this note with a group of people, let's just say four or five people, yeah, every change that you will make inside this note application will be visible to all of them. And that's it for this one. Do let me know what you think about notes application after you watch this video. By the way, if you're watching this video till this point, I know you've liked it, which is why I would really, really appreciate it if you would like this video. And if you like to stay updated with everything Apple, make sure to download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store. If you think we missed out on some feature that is maybe your favorite about the notes application, then do let us know in the comments down below. I would love to check it out. Well, that's it for this one. This is me here signing off and I'll see you in the next one.